What's up YouTube, today we're going to take a look at lead code problem number 169, majority element, marked as easy, let's get into it. So this one has a lot of upvotes, quite easy to understand, and the problem statement is just a few lines. Given an array of size n, find the majority element. The majority element is the element that appears more than n divided by 2 times. You may assume that the array is non-empty and the majority element always exists in that array. So the majority element is not the element that appears the most often, but that appears at least n half times. So if the array has length 6, it needs to appear at least 3 times. So it's kind of like a voting system where you have to get at least half of the votes and not just the most votes. I'm going to go through two solutions for this problem that I really like because there are a lot of possible ways to solve this. But I'm going to start off using one of my favorite data structures in Python being counter, which is an implementation of a hash table that is already pre-existent in Python, which makes it super easy and also works for a lot of lead code questions. So let's call that counter C and just use counter to build up our counter. And as an input, we're going to use nums, our array of numbers. I want to print that count for you just to know what it does. It pretty much counts each element in that array. So 3 appears twice, 2 appears once. It's pretty much a dictionary so you can look up the value for that key. So value of the key 3 would be 2. And that's what we're going to do right now. We're just going to check whether that value that count is higher than n divided by 2. So in order to check for the majority element we're just going to go through that counter. So for n and c, we say n should be a number. We're going to look up the count of that number. So if that count is larger than n divided by 2, that means it's the majority element. And we're gonna divide, well, n. I'm using n twice here, but the description says n should be the length of the array. So I'm just gonna get the length of the array. Divide that by 2 without remainder. So if it's an odd number of elements, we're gonna round down. In that case, we have three elements in the array and by dividing it like that, we're gonna get 1. And because we're not using any remainder, not 1.5, but 1. And then we have to be larger than that to be the majority element. So if, if we were larger or equal, 1 would be allowed and 1 wouldn't be the majority. We need at least 2 here. So if that is the case, we're gonna return C or N, sorry, because N is the number and we're not going to return the count, we're just going to return the number which has the highest count, the majority count. So we submit that code, we're going to get an accepted output, and that was quite simple, easy to explain, using counter, which is reusable in other solutions as well, and yeah, this is pretty much what I would use in real life probably, because it just makes sense and it's easy to understand and debug, and yeah, easy for other people to work on and understand. So runtime complexity for this solution is O of n because that counter needs to be constructed and that is going to loop through the entire array and count up the appearances of each element. There's no magic going on here. You could pretty much implement it yourself. So another trick we can use quite often in these lead code problems is sorting the array before we do anything and that's how we can get a runtime complexity of O n log n, which might be better for small cases and um, yeah. It's, it's also quite simple, so let's just implement that one. So in order to sort that area, we're just going to use nums.sort. And if we print that, it should be sorted now. So if the majority element is going to cover at least half the array, it's always going to appear around the middle. That is best visualized by just looking at one of the solutions, which has it outlined here. So these are just 
indices in this visualization, but the red lines indicate where the maturity element would have to be. And that is already the worst case. So if our array would have a size of seven, our maturity element would have to have at least four appearances. And that is visualized by that line. So it's always gonna cover the middle. Remember four is the, ver the worst case. It's probably gonna appear more often than that in most cases. And if it's not the highest number, if there's higher numbers than it, it's gonna be further to the left as well here or further to the right if it's not the lowest element in that array. So this is already the worst case that could appear and it's still going to cover the middle. And in case we have an odd number of elements in our array, it's going to cover both middle elements. So in, in this case, third and fourth element out of a array of size six. So we could use that logic to just return the, the element that is at that index. So we're again going to use our whole division without remainder. So we're going to return nums at index length of nums integer division by two. So in the case of length seven, it's going to evaluate to 3.5 and then three because we're not using any remainder. And in case of an odd and even number of elements in the array, in this case six, it's just going to go straight to three and yeah, take that element here because index starts from zero. So it's going to pick up this element and in this case, it's going to pick up this element. So it's, it's, it works perfectly, pretty much. So we submit that. It's going to give out an accepted solution as well. And that's pretty much it for this video already. These were quite short. I mean, these are easy problems. It might take some while to, it might take a while to come up with these solutions. But yeah, once you've seen a number of these problems, uh, you're probably always going to think about sorting them and using a counter maybe. Anyways, hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you did. And I'm going through more lead code algorithmic and database questions, solving them using Python or SQL. So if you're interested, stick around and maybe subscribe. See you next time.